Hello, my name is Wendy Love Edge, and I'd like to welcome you to the Bulldozer Health Show. In this episode, I'll be speaking with Joyce Robertson, owner of Mountain Air Organic Beds in Springdale, Arkansas. Welcome, Joyce. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm so glad you're here. So Joyce, can you tell us what is an organic bed? Well, an organic mattress is just made by Mother Nature and it's not made in any kind of chemical plant. Oh. So we use organic uh, cotton, organic wool, we use organic latex rubber, and that's it. There's nothing complicated about it, it's simple. Wow. Unlike what you would find in a regular mattress store, right. uh, you'd find polyurethane foam, uh, formaldehyde, toxic flame retardants. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I, it, never, I guess I never really thought about that. Mm -hmm. So um, latex rubber is organic and okay to Ours use? Ours is. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, because it can be made synthetic too. And synthetic rubber is called styrene butadiene rubber, and that's toxic to the lungs, liver, and brain. Mm. And that's why people think they're allergic to latex. They're really allergic to synthetic latex. Oh, I see. So the organic latex that's in the mattress is safe for the body. It is. Ours is botanical latex, and there's a, it's hyperallergenic. So there's a protein that's actually been burned out during the manufacturing process of, you know, making it into a cake, mm -hmm. which is, is your layers of latex. Right. And, and that's been burned out, so it's hypoallergenic. Oh, neat. So in a mattress that's not organic, what is it about that mattress that's unhealthy to someone? Well, you have to look at how the mattress is made, and all mattresses out there is, are made from polyurethane foam. Polyurethane foam is made from petroleum oil, and petroleum mm -hmm. oil is highly flammable, and petroleum oil causes cancer. And um, you know, there's a lot of toxic chemicals in it, and when it catches fire, it releases the deadly hydrogen cyanide, which means you could be gassed. Oh quickly goodness. and not have an opportunity to get out of bed. So the government said, well, we're, you got to make these mattresses safer. So they said, well, the only way to make it safer is what, to pour toxic flame retardants on it? You know, we're, oh, wow. you know wool is a natural fire barrier. There's no sense that, that a person has to put toxic flame retardants on a mattress, especially if it's a natural mattress, because natural burns slower. So uh, day to day when someone is sleeping on a mattress that's not organic, what symptoms might they see from sleeping on something that's not organic? Well, you know, you have to consider what's in it. And so a person can have breathing difficulties. Okay. It, it can just disturb your sleep um, because the flame retardants are flying up and what you can't smell sometimes can hurt you. Okay. So, you so know. even if you're not smelling something that yep. smells toxic. Yeah, yeah. Right. Does it come in through your skin also, or is it mainly the, the fumes? Well, you have to look at the flame retardants first, because you've got to break this down. There's so there's like a third of your mattress is nothing but chemicals. So mm -hmm. let's break it down by flame retardants. The number one flame retardant on the market today is called chlorinated tryst. Chlorinated tryst mm -hmm. has been banned in children's sleepwear for over 35 years because mm -hmm. It's a known carcinogen, it's a hormone disruptor, oh my and goodness. it's a neurotoxin. It can lower your child's RQ. That's why we recommend pregnant who, women who are pregnant get an organic mattress as soon as possible because that baby that's developing in your body is absorbing everything that you're absorbing. And if you're breathing this, which you are, mm -hmm. because chlorinated tris does not bond itself to the polyurethane foam, it's a hydrofluorocarbon. So every time you lay down on that mattress or you sit on that sofa mm -hmm. that's made of polyurethane foam, that flame retardant is flying up eight to 10 inches and your skin is breathing, it's, it's, lay, it's flying on you. Okay. And when you breathe it, it also attaches to your household dust which Duke University calls it's worse than sludge. Wow. Yeah, and then it falls on the floor. And unfortunately, our children and our pets, they're on the floor and they're walking mm -hmm. around and they're putting things in their mouths and they absorb this chlorinated tris and this toxic flame retardant. Even after the mattress has off-gassed, mm -hmm. it's continuing to break down over time. So the tris is continuing to fly out. It just does not stop. You wow. just need to get rid of the mattress and get an organic mattress if you want to sleep healthy, which we all do because we spend a third of our lives on our mattress. Right, and sleep is vitally important to health. 
-hmm. tell people all the time, you know, one of our four remedies for health is includes um, exercise and rest right. and leisure activities too. But rest is a key component to health. So. Um, what symptoms would someone see exactly, do you think? Um, well, here's the deal. Well, I'm seeing more and more people developing multiple chemical sensitivities mm -hmm. because the toxins that they're eating in their non-organic food, the flame retardants they're going home and sleeping on, the plastics and all these things are building up in our bodies right. and we're reaching a toxic overload. And with that toxic overload, they're starting to see symptoms of cancer come up because your body just has no way to fight it. Right. And so rather than fight it, why don't we just remove what's causing the problem in the first place right. and try and, to live healthy? Right, and so the bed is one component of that. It's a huge component. And, you know, it's not something that you hear people talk about very often. Yeah, a lot of people don't know about it. No, they mm -hmm. talk about other... Um, you know, air pollutants or, like you said, the food. There's mm -hmm. so many things to consider. Mm -hmm. When someone moves from a regular mattress, I'll say, I don't know what else to call it, a, mm -hmm. a commer it regular, regular commercial mattress, mattress mm -hmm. right, sure. to an organic mattress, mm -hmm. do they often see an improvement in their sleep? Oh, yes. Yes. Um, and plus, they, uh, they seem to sleep deeper and they wake up feeling more refreshed. Mm -hmm. But what happens is that you start... Um, noticing, getting these warning signs when you're in a place that has a toxic chemical smell. Because there's stores and there's clothing and mm -hmm. there's, there's shoes and things and, you, mm -hmm. and you, you will walk by and you go, oh my gosh, that smells really toxic. And so you get this, al this alarm that's kind of going off in your nose and your head saying, hey, you know what, you need to avoid that. Because right. you're sleeping on an organic mattress, you're living more healthy, mm -hmm. you're, you're you're developing those senses. You're smelling right. those things that you need to be knowing Avoiding, not to right, avoid. Well, right. Knowing to avoid, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. And so you become more sensitive once you, like you said, you spend a third of your time sleeping. Mm -hmm. So you spend that time on the organic mattress and then you become more sensitive to these toxins in other right. places. Right, yeah. You, you, become, you become more aware mm -hmm. of the of the chemicals because you're able to sense them better. It's almost like a dog with a sharpened sense of, of, of uh, smell. Right. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then you know what to avoid. Oh, sure. There's a lot of places I avoid and a lot of things I avoid for that reason. Right. Because because you've got you've become more sensitized. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And so with the mattress, would would one also want to replace their pillow too? Yes. Um, certainly replace the pillow because <laughs> you got your nose in it and your face right, in it. Right, right. And, you know, pillows breed, just like mattresses, it breeds bacteria. Mm -hmm. This is where our mattress is different because it's not made of polyurethane foam. Our latex rubber is naturally antimicrobial and antibacterial. Oh, Bed nice. bugs don't breed in it. Really? Neither does dust mites and a staphylococcus and E. coli resistant. Every hotel should be carrying organic mattresses right, and bedding right. because it's so healthy. You don't... You can take a black light to it. You're not going to see all the stuff that you'd normally see in a regular mattress. Right. It's and a lot healthier. And in the pillow, too. Yeah, in the pillow. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, what about the, the bedding, too? Is that... Yeah, you, you need know? to go organic because, <laughs> you know... Right. Um, you know, Consumers Against Toxic Apparel, it's called Kata. Mm -hmm. um, they've done a lot of research about toxic chemicals in clothing and in bedding. Mm -hmm. It's in textiles. And what's happened is they're using pesticides in the production of cotton. Right. And so, once again, you're exposing yourself to these toxic chemicals that are actually impregnated into the cotton itself. And there's a whole line of synthetic uh, materials with with um, things sprayed on it, mm -hmm. you know, that are toxic and it's not good for us. But to bedding, yeah, go uh, certified organic in the bedding. It feels better. Mm -hmm. Once you slip under roller sheets, you're not going to want to slip under anything else. Right. They're nice. really nice. It's interesting to me. When I was very sick, um, at one time I had this experience where my clothes really felt toxic to me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't feeling well at all. And I, at the time, asked my family to find organic cotton things for me to wear. Right. It w I just was so sensitive to it. So I can relate a little bit to what you're talking about. And through that period, I started wearing 
just this organic cotton shirt that someone brought me, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and it really made a difference. I mm -hmm. could tell the difference. I, for some reason, was highly sensitive at that point. Mm -hmm. So um, I can see where that would be for someone, for anyone, not just someone who's sick, but um, sometimes we don't know that we're um, experiencing symptoms and problems related to the things that we come in contact with mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. And so it sounds like what you're talking about is reducing that for at least that third of the time when you're in bed, yep. the mattress, the bedding, the pillow. Right. And do you also have the clothing? Uh, we do not carry the clothing, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, we have a few um, night shirts and okay. pajamas that we're going to be developing later on this year. Right. But we try to make everything we can because, mm -hmm. you know, we have scraps. We make dog beds, dog pillows, baby items, wow. you know, mattresses and bassinet, and, you know, the entire lineup of anything to have to do with sleep for babies, pets, and for us. Right. We do it. Right. That's excellent. Uh -huh. um, and I'm sure there are other places that people can look for organic clothing and stick with Oh, organic. yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, you can Google it. And, of course, you know, follow the consumers against toxic apparel. And um, they, you know, they make organic clothing. And I'm sure right. they can direct you to places, too. So if someone was interested in organic beds, um, where would they look to find some of this research you're talking about? And is that? Well, you go to my website. Okay. It's called, uh, it's the name of our business, mountainairorganicbeds.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And there's a lot of information there about, you know, mattresses and healthy sleep just in general. And Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining me today. Sure. Thank you, Wendy, for having me. I had a wonderful time. Great. Bulldozer Health Incorporated is a 501c3 nonprofit organization and healthcare reform initiative. You can find us at bulldozerhealth.org. Take back your health, America.